Hey, what's up folks? In this project, we're making a 3D printed LED hockey puck. This was inspired by the DIY indoor hockey project by Yuxel Tamis. This hockey puck lights up and makes chip tunes based on how fast it's moving. You get a light show each time you hit the hockey puck, so it's still super fun even when you miss a goal. The Circuit Playground Express makes this a fun and easy project that uses the built-in motion sensor and NeoPixel LEDs. The case was 3D printed in NinjaFlex filament, which lets you use the buttons to switch between different modes. With MakeCode for Circuit Playground Express, we were able to quickly make this demo. It's an easy to use block-based code editor that's great if you're just getting started. To set up the board, double press the reset button to get into the bootloader mode. Then you can pair the device over USB using the Chrome browser. Once it's connected, the NeoPixel LEDs turn green, letting you know it's ready. You can then click download to upload your code or drag and drop the UF2 file. This makes it really easy to get into programming electronics, so definitely check out MakeCode. You can get the parts to build this project, links are in the description. 3D printed parts in NinjaFlex are pretty durable, so it's great for making our hockey puck. The battery fits inside a recess, so it's protected inside the bottom half of the case. The circuit playground fits on top and gets mounted with screws so it's mechanically secured. These screws are drilled into the top cover and inserted through the pads on the circuit playground. The built-in flap lets you access the battery port so you can easily plug it in or disconnect it when you want to turn it off. When the battery gets low, you can use the little USB LiPo charger from Adafruit. We 3D printed the blade so you can customize it and use a wooden dowel as the stick. The blade can be 3D printed without any support material. You can enable Z-hopping to help prevent the printer head from striking the part. We used Petchy filament to make the part a bit more durable than regular PLA. We had a lot of fun making this project and hope it inspires you to check out Adafruit Circuit Playground. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more projects from Adafruit.